Welcome to the House of Kittens, everyone. This is Fukat. Today we are playing Five Nights at Sonic's 4. Uh, the last two sequels weren't really that fun to me, and for sure I'm not going to be continuing this either because I didn't even like the original Five Nights at Freddy's 4 that much, so I might just try out one night, see how it goes, and uh, I guess, I don't know. What else am I supposed to say about this? It's just another Five Nights at Sonic's game. It's not all that great. The first one was good. Okay, since friends are gonna help, I didn't read that while I was talking because I mumbled too much, but I'll fix you. Something. I just have to find a cloning machine. All right, so clearly from the previous game, they all died. I remember Mario dying. All right. So he says that when you see the characters, you hide under this. That's odd. Well, what's this vent then? What do I do about that vent when it comes? Then again, I said I was only gonna play it one night. One night is good enough for me. Wait, why am I back here again? It probably said that in the teaser. I don't really care about it. Uh, All right, so apparently you're supposed to hide under the desk. I was trying to figure out how to like play this. Like I thought you had to close the door, but apparently he added a different feature where you hide under the desk. So you know that's sort of different. Kind of reminds me of another game. I don't remember. I think it was Nightmare in My Bed. Jump scare me! <laughs> it's like what is that supposed to do? It's like what? It's like I knew that Jenskir was gonna show up. That was ridiculous. Hey, nothing's happening so far. There we go. <laughs> That's some pretty cool animation, I'm not gonna lie. You can see their foot like their footsteps and everything. Okay, it makes sense now. Okay. Umbreon's dick. <laughs> I don't know. Where's the footsteps? God damn it. He probably had the footsteps right after I came in. Well, I won't lie. This is better than the second and third one. I'm still up for the first one, but... Yeah, this beats the second and third for sure. Hey, I guess a smart thing to do is not to like check on them more often. If I do that, then it fucks me over. Like once I notice them here, like I shouldn't just check at all. I just start preparing to like hide and all that. Might be a little bit unexpected for you guys to hear this, but I think the most threatening would be Tills. Just because, you know, you can hide down into the desk anytime you want. But Tails, it's like, he'll fuck you up either way. Gotta have to check on him anyway. So in this game, Tails is pretty much the Baby Freddy's and Foxy. That's neat. It's less stressful than the original. The original, you gotta check on both of them, and it, that's just so annoying. Yeah, I'm impressed with this one, Ian. Is that the developer's name? It's 2 a.m. and uh, only Yoshi has shown up. So don't check at all. Just wait until you hear the footsteps. Who's walking closer? I can't tell. <laughs> Damn, Yoshi has some big ass feet though. Oh shit. Alright, so that means Yoshi's gone. I just have to hide from Mr. Mario now. Not sure for how long though. Come on, come after me. I'm waiting, Mario. Where the freak are you? He's like not showing up whatsoever. And it's 5 a.m. Really? Gonna just hide here the whole time? Hey, Mirio, come on. Wasting my time here. Got a capiche, man. Okay. Killed me at the last minute. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're an asshole. I am the most impatient bastard. What if I stay here the whole time? Will he know that I'm down here? 
I'm curious. Uh, okay, I'm done. That was just, that was rigged right there. I hid under the desk. He still killed me. So, farthest I made was 5 a.m. I was being a little bit too clumsy and just freaking kept getting in and out. But I'm not going to try to win it at all. That was it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed Five Nights at Sonic's 4. Ah, I think I was just like a few seconds away on 5 a.m. Yeah, it's pretty neat, but it still doesn't beat the first game. But, you know, it's the second best out of all of them. So, if you hide under the desk, like, will Tails know that you're down there? I'm curious about that. It looks like Yoshi knows I can be down there sometimes, which is a little bit ridiculous. I'm guessing he's just like, oh, no one's here. Oh, wait, there's a desk right there. I mean, if that's the case, then they can just check that desk every time, and there's really no point to winning in this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay of Five Nights at Sonic's 4, and subscribe to the outro review if not. Share this to your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Like and comment on this video, and I will see you guys in the next Let's Play. Stay awesome, Kitty Savers.